Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the new features of Flipgrid for the new school year. Let's go ahead and take a look. And the first thing you'll notice when you sign into Flipgrid is you'll now have this discussion area and you'll see topics and groups. You no longer see grid, you see groups. They function in pretty much the same way. Let's go ahead and create a new group here. And again, just like you had before, you can make your groups private or public. Previously, they called them grids. You can make them private or public. You can still make these private or public. You use student email, student usernames, or in my case here, I'm going to make this one public. Let's call it my August 2020 Demo 2. Not a very creative name, but it'll work for now. Now let's hit next. By the way, you can change your join code. You can customize that if you want. Let's change it out. Now hit next. And you can reuse topics from your previous grids and groups. You can reuse any of the ones you like. It's important to note it doesn't duplicate the videos just duplicates the prompt that you used for your topic. But I'm going to skip that for now. And there's the link to my group. And of course, I can share it to Google Classroom, send it out and remind, Microsoft Teams, embed it, or even just share a QR code for it. Let's go to my group. And just like before, you're going to add a topic and let's go in and add this topic. I'll call it summer learning. Share something fun you learned this summer. And just like before, you can set your recording limit. Let's say one minute. Choose our captioning option. You can turn on video moderation. And just like before, you can record a video to be part of your prompt, upload a video, add videos from external sources, or use any of the other options you see down here. Now, we can set custom topic access. And again, we're making this one public. And we'll create that topic. Now, this Custom topic access is something you might use if you want to have one topic be different than the rest of the group. So for example, if I want to have this topic just be private to people who are within my domain, I could do that for this topic. But in this case, my group is public and I want my topic to be public, so I don't need to set that custom access. We have more options down below. And these options we had before as well. You add topic attachments, set a schedule for freezing or unfreezing the topic. We can have notifications. We can let follow, people follow the topics. We can turn on likes. And down here we have options for custom feedback. Let's go ahead and create that topic. And now we have the link for the topic. So we can now record a response and students can record a response by going to the link that's assigned or using the code that is assigned to this group and this topic. And of course, we still have immersive reader there. Now, if we want to record a response to our own topic, we can simply click record a response, access the webcam, and start recording. One of the fun things I learned this summer was about parsley caterpillars, and that parsley caterpillars grow, as you might expect, on parsley. We'll hit that next one button. Of the fun things up. And just like before, still have to take a selfie. Hit your next button and upload that video.
And now it's complete and it becomes a part of the list of responses. If we want to see what this looks like to a student, let's just get that topic. Let's open it up in a new incognito window and see what it looks like to a student. Student will see it right there with the prompt, share some something fun you learned this summer, record a response, and again, I can just hit that record a response. Uh, in this case, I made it public, so they're going to join by entering a Google account. And there it is. Now they can record. Another fun thing I learned this summer is that parsley caterpillars will turn into swallowtail butterflies. And just like before, we still have our options for uploading clips, recording our screen, and using various effects, including emojis. Let's use that fun one. Cover my face with it. Hit next. Another fun thing I learned this summer. Take our selfie once more. And upload it. And just like before, the student still has the option to download the video, download the selfie, and have a direct link to the video. So that's a short overview of what's new in Flipgrid. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.